that was not a blizzard. That was not a blizzard. No, it wasn't. And I'm happy about that. However, <laughs> so I get to the aquatic center this morning and they have their normal high tech well way of telling you that it's not open. They have a paper sign on the door, but that's all good because I'm lucky enough we have a rec center that's super reliable and is pretty much open anytime. <clears throat> and well, once, once it opens, <laughs> I'm a little early. Uh, going on vlog spring has sprung thank goodness it's finally warming up we are consistently in the 60s now this is the look of happiness <laughs> i freaking hate being cold <laughs> and living in colorado we do have some cold weather but it's nice that everything is just warming up it's beautiful out and i'm pumped so as we go into things you know it just came out of uh Let's see, some really, really busy times. 2019 has been insane so far. There's just been every, everything imaginable going on and going wrong, <laughs> uh, but a lot of things going right too. And, um, you know, it's been, I really didn't get a breather. Usually sort of toward the first of the year, I have a little bit of time to kind of decompress. Uh, you know, I'm still busy, 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 but the intensity is down, but not this year, man. It just started out with a bang and it's continued that way. Um, gosh, things have been busy in business, a lot of things shifting, um, adjustments in my companies, making things better, processes, improvements, just a constant daily thing across all those venues, um, et cetera. I, you know, I'm building out some new things. I've got an online course for Berkford Performance Systems that I'm putting together for uh, the super ambitious, top achievers out there that frankly are run down and burned out and really how to go from burnout to massive breakthroughs and clockwork performance uh, for people who are stagnant and stuck who hate being in that place because that's not their it's just not their nature and that's not where they want to be so putting that stuff together that's obviously taking up a lot of time because I want to make sure that that is uh, just a premium, premium master class that I develop out. And today is another pretty typical day. So I uh, got up at 4 a.m., was at the pool by 5, uh, and uh, just hit things pretty hard. I have a great uh, workout partner right now, uh, a gal named Kate that's on my team. Shout out to Kate. She's pretty great, but she pushes the envelope in practice. She's kind of she's kind of insane, but in a good way. Um, <laughs> just the sets that that she pushes that she pushes us to do in our lane are fantastic. They don't feel good uh, necessarily. Sometimes they're tremendously nauseating. I mean, literally nauseating. Where I think I might retch in the pool, but I haven't yet. <laughs> You don't want to be the guy or the gal that throws up in the pool because then I have to clear everything and everybody hates you. So anyway, at the pool at 5, uh, finish working out at 7, get out, shower, uh, run home, work on a couple things real quick, get ready to leave. Now I'm on the road and got appointments until about 5.45 tonight. So I'll get home hopefully around 6. As soon as I get home, I need to feed my four dogs. And then I need to feed myself because I probably need to be in bed around 7.45 at the latest. It's 4.40. Gonna hit the aquatic center, get in a swim. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm still waking up, but I'm pumped. <laughs> we'll see how that goes today.
been an interesting year. I was going to say a couple weeks, but it's it's just been kind of crazy all year long and, you know, I just busy, busy, busy. I, you know, like Sunday, <clears throat> I guess I'll talk start there because that was kind of the beginning of my week. Uh, it was like a over a 12 hour work day for me. And then yesterday was pretty long too. And, um, you know, really enjoyed getting together with some people, staff, etc., and see, seeing some of those people, but then it's the roller coaster of like this person quit and this stuff happened and then this client such and such happened. And business is a roller coaster. I probably don't need to tell most of you watching this about that because <laughs> a lot of you own businesses. But for those of you who don't, if you don't enjoy emotional roller coasters, uh, or maybe I should put it this way, if you're not incredibly emotionally stable, uh, entrepreneurship is not going to help with your mental stability. <laughs> you might want to cultivate that and make sure that you're really psychologically stout because it, it's crazy and there's a lot of benefits too and it's wonderful and I love it and there's, I, there's huge upside and the ability to contribute and to see big picture and to help people and to employ people. It's very powerful as well but Anyway, uh, and then got a, another pretty long day today. It's interesting though, in all the chaos of the last couple of weeks, I probably shouldn't blame it on this. This I, I should just take full credit. I missed a spot. Have you ever missed a spot? I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but um, on my head there, there's a little bit of a problem because I cut my own hair. <laughs> uh, not so much to save the money, but more to save the time. I can cut my own hair in like 10 minutes, which you should say, well, clearly, because you missed a spot. But I can do it pretty quickly, save myself some time. I don't have to drive around and find somebody. And so I just kind of take care of it, but I completely missed a spot. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying. And it wasn't because I don't care or I don't want to be detailed and make sure it's evenly cut. It just boils down to the fact that, hey, I couldn't really see back there and I was trying to do my best, but I missed it. And then, of course, as it grew out, I finally saw it in the mirror when I tilted my head a certain way and just thinking, oh my gosh, I've been walking around with that. People have been looking at that for God knows how long. Needless to say, I found that to be mildly embarrassing and I'm so busy right now <laughs> that I don't have the 10 minutes to cut my own hair to fix the problem so it's just out there for people to see and of course now I'm telling it, all of you wonderful people about it but I think there's a lesson in that that there's areas and spots that we can't see and it's so helpful to get different vantage points whether that's having a coach uh, somebody that can walk alongside you and help you see things in a different light whether that's reading books or listening to audiobooks if you prefer that delivery method it's going to seminars and just reading about and seeing and hearing different points of view and spending time with different people that are quality people that are achievers that are excelling in the ways that you would like to excel because they will bring a different angle and you'll be able to catch some stuff that you haven't seen before. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I got to hop on the phone here and do some business before I get to this appointment. But I, uh, I wish you the very best day and the happiest of haircuts. Hey guys, i am got to hop on and make some phone calls here, but I just had to tell you it's crazy weather stuff. So yesterday it was 80 degrees. It was beautiful, nice and warm, you know, like weather that makes you sweat. <laughs> and today it's, as you can kind of see, it's raining right now and there's supposed to be uh, a blizzard here in a few hours. Freaking weird, man. We had a bomb cyclone blizzard about a month ago or so and th and I, this one is supposedly going to be pretty bad too but the last one was really really wild it went from everything was fine to uh like apparently hurricane force winds and it was it was it was insane it was like a squall but with blowing snow and we're supposed to get another little dose of something like that this evening so we'll see what <laughs> comes of it but welcome to Colorado in April it's springtime happy birthday here's a blizzard
that was not a blizzard. That was not a blizzard. No, it wasn't. And I'm happy about that. However, <laughs> so I get to the aquatic center this morning and they have their normal high tech well way of telling you that it's not open. They have a paper sign on the door that says closed due to weather. And I'm like, there's like three inches of snow on the ground. Now the aquatic center is tied to the school district. So if the school district closes, um, like they close too. So I'm thinking the school's closed, which is ridiculous because I mean, like if this happened in Seattle, I would understand, uh, because they're not really equipped to deal with it, but there's like three inches of snow on the ground. And in high school, I think we got school canceled one time, one time. <laughs> and it was because it was like over 14 inches of snow and blowing wind and it was an actual real blizzard during the school day but anything else if there was six inches on the ground and it was just mildly hazardous to travel and was going to take you an hour to get to school when it should take you 10 minutes uh they didn't call school off so it's interesting to see the evolution here but that's all good because i'm lucky enough we have a rec center that's super reliable and is pretty much open anytime. <clears throat> and well, once, once it opens, <laughs> I'm a little early. Uh, so I'm going to hang out in the parking lot here and, uh, maybe get some reading done. I brought a book today because I suspected I might get caught in the car, uh, and sitting here waiting for this to open in case the aquatic center closed for some crazy reason. And that paid off. So I'm going to get some reading done. Never be left alone stuck with nothing to do or if you don't have a book with you a little pro tip for the day all right guys well as we're waiting for the sun to come up i will bid you adieu